Hello all, welcome back. Here the discussion is about nested for loops. In the previous video, uh, we have seen about for loop. So why we are going for a for loop and uh, what is the syntax for for loop and we have also seen an example for for loop. Here we are going to uh, see what is a nested for loop. Okay, so when we have a loop statement that is present within another loop statement or which is given within another loop statement, then we can say that it is a nested for loop. Loop within another loop is called as a nested for loop. And this is the syntax for nested for loop. So first we have a for statement and we already discussed about the syntax of for. So how a for should be? It should have three components. The first component is in initialization. Then we should have condition. And the third component is upgrade statement. So here instead of upgrade statement, I have given it as increment or decrement or even we can have some other expressions here. So it is not mandatory to only to give increment or decrement here. Right. So this is what the for loop syntax is. And for nested for loop, uh, inside one for loop, we have another for loop. Okay. So in the same way, we have written this for loop. And for this, uh, this is called as actually outer for loop. And this is called as inner for loop. So inside this inner for loop, we have loop statements related to that inner for loop. And uh, then after this inner for loop, here we have outer loop statements that is uh, for written for this outer for loop. Right. So this is how a nested for loop should be used. And then coming to why we are going for this nested for loop. We know when we want to perform some particular task repeatedly for n number of times at that time we can go for using this for loop and uh, for example i can say that when i want to print numbers 1 2 3 4 5 right so generally i can write the statement inside the printf itself and i can try to print the statements in the output so this is a simple thing but if I want to print statements, I mean uh, numbers from 1 to 100, if this is the case, then user cannot write uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 100 in a printf statement and we cannot execute it, right? It is not an easy process. It is a time consuming one and also it is some complicated process to write numbers from 1 to 100. And in that case, we are going for this for loop. So when we are using for loop, usually we will give it like for then integer i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 100 i plus plus so if i'm giving some uh, for loop like this and the printf statement contains this one right so now this printf statement will print the value of i and the value of i is initialized as 1 and then the i value gets incremented every time the loop uh, executes and based on the condition, the loop executes until the value, i value becomes greater than 100, right? So the condition given here is i should be less than or equal to 100. So until the value of i becomes 101, this loop will get executed and the value gets printed. That is, we'll get the output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 100, right? So this is why we are using, this is why we are going for using the for loop. And when we have to use this nested for loop so when i have a condition like i want to print value 1 2 3 4 5 but that should be printed for five times okay 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so if i want to print the same 1 2 3 4 5 for five times as an output then at that time we can go for this nested for loop okay so when uh, generally if you want to print like this what we can do is the another way that we can use five for loops okay with the help of five for loops we can write five separate for loops and then inside that five separate for loops we can give the printf statement like this and we can able to print these lines that is five lines but in the same way if you if you want to print these uh, one two three four five for hundred lines okay if it goes for hundred lines then at that time we cannot write 100 for loops and we cannot print that 100 lines of output right so in that case we are going for this nested for loop so how a nested for loop can be written to print this 1 2 3 4 5 for 5 
times that is in five lines okay so we'll see that now with example this is the example for nested for loop so in this example we are going to print the output one two three four five for five times okay so that is what the program is given here that is why the program is given here and this is the outer for loop and this is the inner for loop and for this inner for loop we have one print of statement and again for this outer for loop we have one more print of statement and now our task is to print values from 1 to 5 so here if you look at the outer for loop here we have i is equal to 1 up to i less than or equal to 5 and in the same way if you look at the inner for loop here we have j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to 5 our task is to print value that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So, this value should be printed and how many times it should be printed? It should be printed for 5 times. So, this outer for loop actually represents the number of rows, okay? It actually represents rows and here this value represents number of rows to be printed. If you want 5 rows to be printed, so here the condition is 1 to 5. If we want 4 rows to be printed, then the condition should be less than or equal to 4 instead of 5. Right? So, the outer for loop represents the rows. That is how many number of rows we want to print the output. Whereas, the inner for loop represents the actual value that is to be printed. So, we want value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to be printed as output. So, we are giving j is equal to 1 to 5. Okay, which is less than or equal to 5. If we want to print the value up to 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then we can give here less than or equal to 6. Until it becomes 6, we have we can print the values. And inside this for loop, we have the print of statement and this print of statement prints the value of j. So, every time the loop gets incremented, then I mean the loop gets executed, the value of j gets incremented, then it will print the value of j from 1 to 6 right so this is for inner for loop and coming to outer for loop as specified it is representing the rows here that is how many number of rows we want to print this inner for loop output so for this outer for loop we have used one more print of statement and what is the purpose of this print of statement is inside this print of statement we are just using this slash n we already discussed that this slash n represents the new line so, when we want to print output in the next line or in a new line, then we have to use this slash n. And here I am using this slash n in order to print the outputs in new lines. And this printf is used for this outer loop. Okay. And now we will see how this loop execution happens. Right. Here, as usual, the execution begins from the main function. And inside main function, the first statement we have here is for loop and in this for loop i value is initialized to 1 after initialization it will move to the condition okay so here 1 is less than or equal to 5 this condition will be checked if it is true then the block of for loop gets executed so this condition is true now it gets into this inner for loop and in inner for loop we have initialized the variable j with value 1 and after that the condition is to be checked that is the value of j1 is checked with 5 which is less than or equal to 5 so this condition is true if this condition is true then it moves into the block of statement for this for loop so this is the block of statement for this for loop so inside this for loop we have print of statement which will print the value of j what is the value of j now it is initialized to 1 so now this will print value 1 Okay, so after completing this, again, now the process that is uh, your control again goes to this inner for loop only. Okay, once this block is completed, now again the control will move to this inner for loop. It won't go to the outer for loop. So, when the control will move to this inner for loop means when this condition becomes false. Okay, so when this condition becomes false, then the control moves to outer loop. Until this condition becoming false, this inner loop will get executed repeatedly. Right? So, after completing this printf statement, now your control again moves to this for loop and 
in this for loop now we have to execute this increment statement right so now the value of j gets incremented to 2 after increment process now again the value will be checked here that is the value of j will be compared with 5 so 2 is less than or equal to 5 again the condition is true so if it is true it executes this printf statement now the value of j is 2 and this will be printed again after this the control again moves here now the value of j gets incremented to 3 then it is compared with 5 the condition is true so it will print the value of j as 3 so again the value of j gets incremented then the condition becomes true then it prints the value of j after the statement again the control moves here the value of j becomes 5 so 5 less than or equal to 5 and this is true so it will print the value of j now right again the increment operation will happen the j value becomes 6 now it is checked the condition is checked that is whether 6 is less than or equal to 5 it is false so now this value becomes false so if it becomes false what happens this outer loop will get executed now that is the control will move to the outer loop okay so after the condition gets failure now the control moves to the outer loop and in outer loop already we initialize the value of i as 1 okay so everything processed so after this now where your control moves to this for loop the control will move to this increment statement now the value of i is getting incremented to 2 so after the increment the condition will be checked so 2 is less than or equal to 5 now this is true so if it is true again it will execute the inner for loop coming to inner for loop now this inner for loop will again starts its execution from initialize statement initialization statement okay so again the value of j will get in uh, as initialized as 1 so what is the value of j now our value of j is again starts from 1 so after this it checks for condition whether it is true or false if it is true it will execute the statement again so this is true so it will execute the statement now value of j is 1 and then the control goes to this j plus plus now value of j becomes 2 so then it is checked with condition and then the condition becomes true so it will print the value 2 in the same way it will print value up to 5 okay so when the value of j becomes 6 the condition becomes false and if the condition is false now the control will move to this for loop again and where the control moves the control will move to this third uh, component of this for loop right so now the i value gets incremented to 3 okay so after the i value gets incremented to 3 it will compare with the value 5 so here the condition is true if the condition is true now it will come to this inner for loop again the inner for loop will start from the first that is initialization now the value of j is again 1 then it will be compared here again the value will get printed here so in the same way this will repeat okay so this process will repeat until this condition gets satisfied so when this condition will get satisfied until the value of i will i becomes 5 so this loop will get executed like this both the outer loop as well as inner loop will get executed like this up to five times when the i value becomes six so this condition becomes false so then it won't execute this inner loop that is the block of statements inside this for loop okay so this is how we'll get the output by using this nested for loop and one more thing you have to note here is this printf statement okay as mentioned here we are using only slash n which is used to print the output in next line and this printf is written for this outer for loop right so after this process okay after printing this first line now what happens if this condition becomes false that is if value of j is 6 and this condition becomes false then the control where it will come it will come to this printf statement okay now the printf statement is encountered so what is there in the printf statement it is saying that a new line should be taken right so this printf statement will take the new line again after this printf statement only your control moves to this for loop right so then it will execute and based on the condition it will execute this inner for loop again so now 
it will take the new line and this will be printed in a new line in the same way after completing this okay after printing all these uh, values again the printf statement will be encountered and then it will take the new line okay so again it will come to the new line after that this will get executed then again this output will be printed okay so in this way we are going to print the output in a new line okay so that is why we are using this printf statement here and that it should be used for this outer for loop if for example we are using this printf statement for this inner for loop then how the output will be the output alignment will be like this that is one two three four five again one two three four five again one two three four five so if it is used if this printf statement is used inside this for loop then this is how the output will be since it is used outside it is a used for outer for loop we are getting output in this way right so this is how the nested for loop is used and this is why we are going for using this nested for loop in the same way we can use nested while as well as nested do while that is when we uh, declare a while statement inside another while then it is a nested while loop then again if we do the same for a do while then it is nested do while also it is not necessary that always a do while should be nested within another do while or a while should be nested within another while we can also nest while statement inside another for loop or inside another do while loop okay so we can also change this loop and we can nest it it is not necessary that always for loop should be nested within for loop also a for loop can be nested within a while loop it is allowed here and this is all about the nested loops